Hey, you're going to want to listen to today's video very, very closely. You see, I'm going to share with you six proven secrets to make your first million dollars in 2023. And these are the same secrets that I've actually used to make my first $100,000, first million dollars, first $10 million, and a ton more after that. And this isn't just theory. In fact, when my partner and I started our current business, we had no money, no contacts, and no experience. We started the business with just $5,000 to our name. We'd never worked in the industry before. We'd never really run a business before and know how to do sales and marketing. In fact, we were so broke when we started the business that we used to have to walk around the supermarket eating food off the shelves just so we could try and save some money to keep trying to grow our business. And so if I can do it, then you can do it too. So listen up, get a pen and paper, and let's get stuck into it. So the first thing you're gonna to need to do is fix your money mindset. Now, I know that can be challenging, particularly if you're coming for a place where you don't have a lot of money. But trust me, I've been there too. I've literally had no money. And at one point I was broke and living on my office floor and had absolutely no money in the bank. So I know what it feels like to not really have anything and to have someone say, hey, just like improve the way you think about money can seem a bit bizarre. But you've got to realize that there is an almost infinite amount of money in the world. In fact, just in cash circulation around the world at the moment, there's about $83 trillion, which is quite a lot of money. But beyond that, central banks around the world are all printing money as well. So there's an almost infinitely expanding supply of money. So the issue isn't about, is there enough money? Or in fact, why don't you have enough money? It's just in fact, where is the money? That is the thing that you've got to work out. So rather than thinking about how you make money, which in fact, you can't go and make money, what you can do is you can find it and you can collect it. Now, if you can start to realize that there is an almost endless amount of money around, it's just a case of actually asking yourself, where is it and how can I get it? And that is a very different set of questions to ask. Now, you've probably seen it too, and you've probably been somewhere and seen somebody driving around in a fancy car and you thought, hang on a second, they seem to have a lot of money. Or maybe you've seen people in fancy restaurants having really expensive dinners and you've wondered how on earth can they afford that? Well, it's because they've worked out how to get their money mindset right. They've worked out how to play the game of abundance and not scarcity. And the more that you can start to shift your mindset in that direction, the more that you can have it available to you as well. Now, one of the best ways to do that is to start to immerse yourself in that kind of abundance. Now, you may not have a lot of money. Maybe you can't go and buy the latest sports car. But what you could do, for example, is perhaps go and test drive a car so that you get to understand what it looks like and what it feels like and what it smells like. And you actually start to normalize that experience of being around affluence and wealth. This starts to shift your perspective around what is possible. I know that every time that I've done that, it has helped me level up too. Every time I've done something like when we moved to Bondi Beach in Sydney, which is a relatively affluent area of Australia, we moved from a suburb that was a really low socioeconomic demographic to Bondi Beach. And all of a sudden I was walking around looking at all these fancy houses and all these fancy cars, and it shifted my perspective and my perception of money, which in fact then allowed us to go and collect more of it because the way you resonate is what you attract. And so the more that you can get comfortable in these environments and shift your mindset to a state of abundance, the more that you're gonna be open to receiving, which I know sounds a little bit woo woo, but it is in fact true. So other simple ways that you can do this too. So for example, you could go and get a coffee or a cocktail in a fancy hotel bar. You may not be able to afford staying the night in the hotel, but you could still go in there. You can still get the sense and the smell and the feeling of what it's like. You can start to see people walking around that have got loads of money and then you start again to normalize it. And the more you can normalize it, the more you can realize that it can be true for you too. Money is not a game where if you win, somebody else has to lose. It is a case of continuously creating the opportunities that provide value that you can then receive save that money from. And another counterintuitive thing that you need to get your head around as well is that money loves to flow. Money is just a representation of energy. In fact, that is all it is. If you take the cash that you've got in your wallet or take any kind of dollar bill that you can find, that is actually not worth anything. All it is, is a representation of a transfer of an agreed amount of value. And what that value is, energy in motion. And so as you start to think about this shifting, you can actually start to think about how can I help more money flow to me? Now, money loves to flow, energy loves to flow. And so even when you're in a state where you may not have much money, one of the easiest ways to attract more money into your life and also to move your mindset into a state of abundance is to actually start to give it away. Now, I've had many times in my life where I felt like I was stuck and I wasn't getting ahead and I just actually couldn't work out how to get to the next level. And I was feeling really scared about money and I didn't have much cash and money didn't seem to be coming from anywhere and we were running out of money and all of this kind of stuff. And in those moments, I made a choice to give to people who needed it more than me, which is a hard thing to do when you don't have a lot of money. But let me tell you, when you do that and when you do that from a state of genuine care and genuine generosity, and selflessness, then that starts to actually unlock your capability to feel abundant again. And as you feel more abundant and as you unlock that money mindset within yourself, you start to attract more money to you. 
I know it sounds crazy, but try out some of the stuff that I've said and watch your world start to shift around you. The next thing I wanna talk about is habits and rituals. You see, one of the best things you can do to start to move yourself to a place where you can make your first million dollars and far beyond that is to develop consistent rituals and habits that you practice every day that move you towards that destination. Now, the key is in just what I said, the destination. In order for you to work out what you need to do, you need to work out where you are going. That is the first thing you need to do. And in order to do that, you need to start to build out what does your vision look like for you? Is it to create a million dollars? Or is it to create $10 million? Is it to create $100 million? But more importantly than just picking a number, you actually need to understand why that is important to you. Because unless you are emotionally attached to the outcome that you are trying to create, unless there is a deeper meaning, a deeper reason and purpose for you to create that, you will not have the longevity to be able to pursue that goal to its end, which means you'll never create the thing that you wanted which in fact can lead you to believe that setting goals, visualization, all of this kind of stuff doesn't work. When in fact, it does. You just need to be able to tie it to a purpose. So for example, you may say, I wanna make a million dollars so that I can pay off my parents' mortgage, so that I can help my family out, so I can give to the charities and to the homeless or something like that. If there is a purpose that is bigger than you, that is outside of you, then you'll have the motivation and the intention to be able to drive that forward and to turn that into a reality. Now, once you've worked out what the destination looks like, and we could spend a whole video just on trying to work out how to create the right goals based around your values and your intentions in life. But for the point now, let's keep it on track. If you can work out where you're trying to get to, then you can go through a process of actually starting to build that visualization into your life today. Now, the way that I do that and a way that I'd like to share with you because it might help you too, is to actually write out your vision every single day. That's right, every single day. Now that might sound a little bit crazy and maybe it is, but let me tell you that it works. One of the things that I can attribute most of my success to is that simple habit. And again, I understand how this sounds, but bear with me. So back when we had no money, back when we were walking around the supermarket eating food off the shelves, I started writing with pen on paper every single day, I started writing out, what does my vision of my future look like? Now, to be clear, that vision has massively changed over time. And in fact, a lot of the stuff that I was writing down then, I realized I never really wanted anyway. But nonetheless, the process of me writing out that vision in vivid detail every single day helped my mind get locked on creating the future that I wanted. That was the thing that actually helped to start reprogram my mind to actually seek out the things that were gonna take me to the next level. So a couple of tips on doing this and doing this really effectively for you. Always, when you're writing out your vision of the future, always write it in the present tense. So you don't wanna write things like, I want a million dollars, or I will get a million dollars. These are all things that presuppose that this may not happen or that it's gonna happen at some point off in the distance. Now, when you're trying to rewire your brain for success and happiness, you need to act as if you already have these characteristics. This is actually a big, big secret. In fact, one of my personal mantras is that the universe will give you everything you want as fast as you want and in the volume you desire, as long as you believe and are open to receiving. Now, in order for you to believe it, you have to, in your mind, start to build out this vision that it is currently true. So for example, rather than saying, I will earn $1 million, you could write something like, I have $1 million in the bank. Now, you might sit there and say, but that is not true, therefore I can't believe it. Correct, but over time, you will start to build out what that vision looks like. And just in the same way that your brain recognizes memories of things that have happened in the past, if you can create a vivid enough vision of what that future looks like, by talking about it in a present tense, you will create what Joe Dispenza refers to as future memories. And as you start to program your brain to believe that these things are current realities, that reality will start to manifest in your life today. And the other habit that I would suggest getting into is consistent, regular exercise. Now, I know what it can be like when you're hustling and you're trying to get somewhere, you're just thinking, should I be working 18 hours a day? Should I be doing all this kind of stuff? And you know what? Maybe you should in the first instance, but that doesn't stop you from exercising as well. In fact, one of the things that has helped me the most, one of the things that keeps me on track, it helps me to manage stress, anxiety, and helps me stay focused on where I'm going is consistent exercise. Now, I haven't been perfect with this over the years, so I'm not going to preach to you like I'm some kind of fitness guru or anything like that. In fact, just before we got started in our business journey, I actually weighed over 100 kilos and was about 30 35% body fat. I was not in good shape. So for me, fitness and health is actually only something that's been a relatively recent thing for me and I haven't stuck to it always perfectly. But what I actually learned over time is there was a really high correlation between the periods of my life that were successful, where things were flowing, where we were having a lot of success, where I didn't feel a lot of stress and the amount of exercise that I was getting on a regular basis. So much so that now it is part of my daily practice not because I'm trying to become a bodybuilder or not because I wanna be the most ripped guy walking around the beach, but because I know that if I get exercise for at least 60 minutes every single day, 
That keeps my mind right and my body right and helps me to stay in flow. And if you can do that, you're far more likely to achieve the success that you want because you don't have all these buildup of stress and you know lethargy and all of these other kind of things that, that can actually hold you back. So my advice to you would be find something that you love doing. There's no right or wrong answer. It might be running, it might be lifting weights, it could be doing Zumba. I don't really care what it is, but find something that you're gonna enjoy doing every single day and then stick to it and have the discipline to stick to it. That is gonna set you up for a massive amount of success. And the other habit that I would suggest getting into is to look at your money every single day. Now, I know this might sound, some of this stuff might sound a little counterintuitive. Hang on a second. He's trying to get me to imagine that I've got a million dollars in my bank account. And also he wants me to look at my bank account and then realize there's no freaking money in it. But the entire universe works in a dichotomy where everything is and is not all at the same time. And so we actually want to coexist with that in a kind of yin yang fashion. So you wanna be able to create and also be anchored in reality at the same time. That creates the tension where creativity comes from to actually start solving these problems. Now I can tell you, if you just ignore your bank account every single day, you're not even gonna know what's going on there. You won't know if you're growing, you won't know if you're going backwards, you won't even know what your general health is. Now I started actually building a habit as we were getting started of looking at the bank account every single day. I still did all the other habits and all the other practices, but I wanted to know was it going up? Was it going down? What can I see? What can I do? Because you see, as much as you can start to manifest things into your life and start to tap into a broader universal energy to achieve the things you want, you can't wish your way to success. It has to happen through hard work as well. This is one of the facts that I have known to be true. The amount of effort that you put in is the amount of effort you're going to get back as well. So having a really pragmatic approach to understanding and tracking your own finances is going to help you to know, are you taking the right actions to move yourself towards your goal? Combine this with kind of reprogramming your mind, brainwashing yourself if you want to say that, um, you are going to get to your goals so much faster. This combination of characteristics, among a few others, but I'll keep it tight for this video, these combination of things are some of the most important factors that have helped us to become one of the fastest growing companies in Australia and helped me go from basically a homeless, broke drug addict to now doing over eight figures in revenue. So I'm confident that if you do this kind of stuff too, it's going to help you as well. Now, another thing you're gonna to wanna to do is learn a high value skill. You see, looking at your bank account every day and visualizing and writing out your vision and doing all this kind of stuff is all well and good. But as I just mentioned, you actually need to do the work to get to where you wanna to get to. Nothing is going to appear in your lap. You might've seen the secret and you might've had this idea that the law of attraction means you can just wish whatever you want into existence and that is not 100% true. In fact, it is not really the law of attraction, it is the law of resonance. And that means that the way you show up in the world is the things that you're gonna get back. So the more effort you put in, the more you're gonna get in return and you can start to work that and find that harmony as well. So learning a high value skill is really, really, really important because that is gonna define how quickly you can get to your goals. Now, you may be great at mowing lawns, but guess what? There's a lot of other people who may be great at mowing lawns as well. And that's probably not valued that highly because people can easily do it for themselves. So whilst that may be a good way to earn some money, it's probably not gonna be the thing that is gonna change the trajectory of your financial future. So some things you can do to learn a high value skill. So you can learn sales. Sales is one of the best things you can learn to do. In my opinion, sales is love. So let me explain what that means. Sales isn't about trying to get people to part with their money. It isn't about trying to convince people to do the things that you want. It is in fact helping them to unblock themselves. It is in fact about helping them to remove their own roadblocks so that they can get to whatever it is they want in life. That is what is so powerful about it. I personally love sales because I love helping people to become the best version of themselves. And that is really what sales is to me. My opinion is you can never convince someone to do anything. You can only help to show them a better way. And that goes for whatever product or service you end up selling. But one of the best skills you can ever learn is the art of sales and persuasion. And if you do that in a way that is highly ethical and in service of others, you're gonna find yourself experiencing a huge amount of success. Another great high value skill is marketing. Now marketing is in many ways more important than sales if you want to grow wealth. And the reason why is it is sales at scale. Now that doesn't mean that it has to be all pitchy and grimy and buy this and do all that kind of stuff. But in fact, if you can market to people, you can actually help people to aspire to become the best version of themselves and to engage with the things that you've got to offer. So this is one of the best ways to at scale start to transform your personal wealth by actually delivering more value to other people. In my experience, in my opinion, marketing should always provide value. Marketing should never take anything away. And in fact, if you apply that as you're thinking about marketing, you can actually come up with marketing that is gonna get better cut through and actually start to attract more people versus something that people are skeptical of and they think it's potentially dodgy. There's also plenty of others. 
And in fact, one of the things that I'd recommend to you when you're trying to get ahead, when you're trying to make your first million dollars is to invest deeply in yourself. In fact, there is nothing else that you could invest in that can give you a higher return than just investing in yourself. So you might say, I don't wanna do sales and I don't wanna do marketing. Maybe what you wanna do is coding or learning AI or doing any number of other things that are extremely high value jobs, extremely high value skills in the current environment and will be for years to come. Whatever that is for you, invest in yourself. The skills you learn will never go away and they compound over time. But don't just invest in skills, invest in personal development as well. Because the more that you can transform your identity from who you are now to who you wanna be, the faster you're gonna move. And so my advice to you would be to whatever money you've got, right? Keep as much as you need for food and anything like that, but invest every spare cent that you've got in yourself, in growing your mindset, in growing your intellect, in growing all of that kind of stuff. Don't worry about crypto, don't worry about shares, don't even worry about real estate. Just focus on turning yourself into an absolute machine. That is going to help you to get ahead faster. And if you combine those two things, continuous self-improvement, continuous learning, developing new skill sets, including high value skills, you are going to find an endless amount of opportunity for you to start to deliver value into the market. Which leads me to my next point. Focus on solving a problem and helping someone. Now, the fact of the matter is the bigger the problem you solve, the more value you're gonna create. So let's talk about that for a second. Now, you've probably heard someone referred to as being able to sell ice to Eskimos. Now, the reason that phrase exists is because the concept is ice to Eskimos is not something that's gonna be very, very valuable. So if you wanna actually make life easier for yourself, you wanna actually try and work out how do you find someone who is in need of the things that you can provide. Another example is imagine a man crawling through a desert dying of thirst. If you had one cup of water, how much do you think he would pay for that cup of water? Probably quite a lot. Give him a thousand though, and then offer him one more and ask him how much he would pay for that. And it's probably not much. You see, the value of something is relative to the need of the individual. And if you can identify people's needs and people's problems, you are, and are able to solve them and do that in a way that provides a tremendous amount of value and helps them to improve your life, you are gonna fundamentally be transforming not only their lives, which is super impactful, but they will also be rewarding you financially, which is gonna transform your own situation as well. So one of the best things you can do is find a big problem. We did that. I mean, we started a business that is really designed around helping people to build scalable property portfolios. But we didn't just decide one day, let's get into real estate. That sounds fun. The reason we did it is because we tried to buy a property. We made a massive mistake. We lost a bunch of money and we said, wow, that sucks. Imagine if it didn't have to be like this anymore. We then went and learned a whole bunch of high value skills and realized that heaps of other people were facing the same problem. And it's the kind of problem that could cost them tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars or even millions of dollars over time. So that became a gap that we could actually fill and solve this problem and help people create a better life. That becomes something that's quite high ticket. Now that's important as well. And it's really important that you provide a high quality experience for everyone involved. One of the biggest things I'm most passionate about is having a people-centered business where you actually care about delivering value to the other person. And I think you can translate that to any business that you're involved in. It doesn't matter whether it's a product-based business, a service-based business, a SaaS company, it doesn't matter. If you put people at the center of everything you do, you're gonna have greater longevity in business and building wealth. And ultimately, I just want to tell you to be patient. You know, there's a big desire that we all have that we want to try and get things quickly. We want to get rich quick. We want to make all this money. We want to do all this kind of stuff. But I believe that you will enjoy it more on the other side of a great amount of effort. Now, that might not sound nice, that might not sound fun, but that is true. And in fact, beauty is only ever in contrast. And so the more that you can prepare yourself to go through what can be a really difficult journey, the more that you're gonna get more success on the other side. Now, I'm not trying to tell you that to scare you. In fact, it's to encourage you. Because if you know what you're up against, then when you face these challenges, you're gonna be ready for them and you can tackle them head on. And if you practice these six secrets that I've shared with you today, you're gonna to be far more likely to achieve your first million dollars in 2023 and to make many, many more beyond that as well. So I recommend you save this video so you can come back to it once you've progressed a little bit further and to just remind yourself of some of these habits. And of course, if you found this valuable, make sure you share it with somebody else and make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss more videos like this too.